So as you can see here, we are connecting the lithium ion phosphate cells with each other. It is very important that lithium ion phosphate cells don't move apart. If they move apart, then it means that there is something wrong with them. As you can see here, our factory workers are basically working very hard in order to make it safe and to ensure the high safety. It is very important to do this step. And this step includes connecting the lithium ion phosphate cells. These are the prismatic cells with each other in a firm way so that they cannot move and they should not move inside the battery pack. You can have a look at how we make our cells join together with each other. As you can see here, with this machine, we are welding the positive and the negative terminal of the prismatic cells that are going to be used into our power wall. As you can see here, this is a very important step and it is done with high precision and high accuracy. With this machine, you can see that the positive and the negative terminals of prismatic cells are being connected to each other so that they can be fitted inside our lithium iron phosphate power wall. So we are at the next step of our production line where we are basically assembling and manufacturing our power wall. With this power wall, this step is to connect the BMS to the power wall body. And as you can see here, this is the body of our power wall. And you can see here at this step, our engineers have connected the BMS with this board. And with BMS connected, the next step is going to be joining the lithium ion phosphate cells in this chamber. So now we are at the next step of our production line where we basically assemble all the components into the body and at this stage we basically assemble the lithium iron phosphate cells with the BMS connected to the body. As you can see here, here is the BMS and here are the cells that have been through a lot of ride and came here to basically be fitted into this body and in this body you can see here these are 16 cells that make up this power wall and these are connected with the BMS and finally connected with each other at the next step. As you can see here this is the next step where basically we are connecting all the cells with the BMS and with each other using wires and these wires you can see the procedure here being done by our engineers. So among the many quality clearance checkpoints, the final testing is very important. As you can see here, our engineer is basically checking out how the final working of this lithium iron phosphate power wall works. As you can see here, the lithium iron phosphate battery is basically connected using our RS485 protocol to the computer and it is being tested for different responses and if the battery serves and if the BMS is working fine, then we close the sample and then we ship it to our clients.